whenever I hear like romantic or breakup or love with like R&B music blasting outside our window, I think that there's a guy that's still stuck in 1990. Stuck. And so since he can't leave voicemails, he drives up to her building. Oh, with the, with the doors open? And blasts the music. That's a really great drive. Like, yeah, but these no, he misses him outside. Like, he misses I his girl. Let me edit that out. Let me edit it. Edit that out, Sherry. He's with his side piece. That's the fucked up part. His side piece is blasting the music in front of the girl he wants. The passenger seat, like, babe, what's wrong? And she just doesn't get it because she he won't tell her. Well, I thought he was blasting it so that she can come downstairs. Mm, how? On a level of one to ten, how toxic is he? Yeah. If he's super toxic, he got be outside side, blasting R and B music. He got music. the side piece. Current trending R and B music. Brisa, you're you know you're on this, right? I will edit it out. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? These are my bad thoughts. Certainly struggled with being able to get past things. I'd be stuck in the future. And now at 32, I appreciate that um, I've learned how to have a better bounce back game to everything. Like this morning, everyone's seen my video and they were asking why I was crying. I spoke about it with Marcus, my brother, and then I quickly gathered myself. I could have let that really ruin my afternoon, but instead I decided that I was going to edit. I spent time with Soy, play, play with the dogs, cook myself dinner, and just got through it. Everything is not worth spending countless hours thinking. Like, just try, try my best to just feel good. And what does that mean? It's like just doing things that make me happy. I love vlogging. I've been vlogging for five years, and I just told Soy that this is the first year that I feel confident about my vlogging. I was so hard on myself in the beginning. I finally found my foot. Like, I know every day is not going to be great, but I'm like, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. Or maybe I am there. And this is just everybody inside of my dream, my little bubble. Anyways, I'm going to watch Girlfriends and enjoy this. Hollywood, California, thirsty but hydrating treatment. Anybody ever ridden the Hollywood tour scary ride at Disney? When they drop you, it's one of my favorites. You can say what you want, what you're looking for. Wait, so Brizzy, you liked math and what else? Science. <laughs> You're such a cute nerd. I loved English and history. That's when we got to the base. That's when I realized that I just like talking. <laughs> English, and social studies, history. My AP exams, I got fives on everything except those. I got like threes on those. He is psych. Uh, psych was okay. I love like bio. I love, I love physics. I love Spanish. I love art. I liked computer class. I love Spanish too. I French is fun. Art, art yeah. I grew into. I like loved hate gym. I love gym. I like gym too. I just wish they gave us more time with gym. Ceramics was cool, but I had to. Um, I did, but I had to transfer out. Why? Because the. Um, my, the, my high school ceramics teacher um, said something inappropriate to me and touched my arm. What? Answers me out because she's like, oh, I don't want you to have to go to that. And so I go to computer class. And um, the computer teacher told me, oh, the ceramics teacher told me that the reason you transferred out is because you were lazy. What? Mm-hmm. And it only took me until I was adult to realize, damn, I was like, is that considered sexual assault? I was touched inappropriately. That was like 15, 15 behavior. Yeah. That's scary. God, you know what how, what how old were you? Girl, I might have been ju a junior. That shit, it's or what, I think what's scarier is how often it happens.